Hey everyone, Charting Man Dan from ChartGuys.com. You know, behind every single video that we put out every single day, there's a wonderful community of traders that we want to invite you to be a part of. Try the free seven-day trial and gain access to our live market broadcasts every morning and afternoon. Interact with hundreds of like-minded traders or take part in one of our dedicated chat rooms, each led by an analyst that's there to answer your questions in real time. Our trial is risk-free with absolutely no commitment or credit card required to experience the TCG community. For those looking for a head start in technical analysis, check out our entries and exits course in the link below in the description. Get up to speed with the fundamentals of TCG technical analysis and experience over five hours of great community-driven trading education. Looking at CMG, VRX, Twitter, and GoPro on the daily and weekly time frame. So CMG didn't see the bullish follow-through that the bulls were hoping for after a strong end of the day Friday. So we're much closer to a bear break than we are to a bull break, but we are still in this tightening pattern. I'm looking at supports of 466.48, 465.99, 465.20, a base being built in this area. We're much closer to a bear break with about a $6 move required, and a bull break would require about a $20 move to the upside to break 490.67 resistance. So the weekly time frame, we have an inside bar on the weekly, and a break of 465.99 will be a bear break on that inside bar. So watching to see if that level is broken, and the bulls really need to show up tomorrow to fend off a potential break of this support. Otherwise, we will be looking at more prolonged consolidation. VRX, we have earned Earnings. And actually, let's see if we do have this earning reaction coming out currently. And that's right. Those earnings are tomorrow. I'm trying to keep all my earnings straight here. So we're trading sideways. We have multiple inside bars. And we actually, at the end of the day, we did break the inside bar by a penny to the downside. So the bears had a bit of momentum today, looking like a little bit of profit taking on some pretty decent volume comparatively. And we are seeing a support of 956. And let's just go through these scenarios for earnings. If it's a bearish reaction to earnings, we're looking at 920 and then down to the recent low of 831. If it's a bullish reaction to earnings, we're looking at 1058 and 1140. The bulls really need a catalyst here for a turnaround as we're trying to get over exponential weekly resistances, and it's going to require a bullish reaction of earnings to do so. So we'll check back in tomorrow, see how those earnings go, and see what direction we can be looking in the short term. Twitter had a nice day trade opportunity today when we broke this double low from Thursday and Friday, 1836 and 1837. So our new support is down at 1816, and we have 1815 as the low of Wednesday. So building a couple bases of support. If we break 1815 and continue to the downside, we've got 18 psychological, and we'll be looking at normal healthy consolidation still. I would say losing the 200-day moving average support of 1753 would take it a bit further than being normal healthy consolidation. And you can see the weekly time frame after a really strong move. Just pulling back, we could see a bull flag on the weekly. So not looking for too much downside at this point after such a significant turnaround in the short term. But the bears do have momentum in the short term, potentially even seeing some more follow through to the downside tomorrow as we did not close too far above the low that we had set. And last, we got GoPro here. More weakness. Another lower high has been set. Right now, that's at 857. So we had 879, another lower high at 857. I'm looking at support of 831, 821, and 812. It's the same scenario that I was doing on the GoPro video before this dump. If the market is at all-time highs and extremely strong and the bulls are struggling, what's going to happen if the market consolidates and we're going to drop? And here, it couldn't have gone any better. I was saying the exact same thing in April and March, and we had a huge dump to new all-time lows, big-time gains to the downside. And it's the same scenario. If the bulls are not strong in all-time high market conditions, the correlation to the S&P 500 on any consolidation is going to take out some key support levels, and we're going to be looking at filling this gap. So we'll see if we get further downside tomorrow, 857 new resistance, and the weekly time frame not even close to that middle Bollinger Band that needs to be regained in order for the bulls to have any hope of trying to turn around this weekly trend. So I'm still a bear on GoPro. I will change my sentiment if the bulls can start proving themselves, but so far they have been unable to do so. So I appreciate you watching. We'll check back in with VRX earnings and such tomorrow. See you then.